Imagine this, the year is 2013 and you just decided to invest $1,000 into Bitcoin and to just leave it and forget it. Now fast forward to today and you are sitting on cryptocurrency worth over $700,000 even after all the ups and downs along the way. That's not just impressive, it's life changing. Over the past decade, Bitcoin has outperformed almost every major traditional asset class while the stock market averaged about 10% a year. Bitcoin delivered returns that seem almost unreal, growing by over 70,000% in 10 years. It turned early believers into millionaires and it sparked a global financial revolution. So today I'm going to be adding Bitcoin to my overall investment portfolio and showing you how to use a platform like Coinbase as a beginner from start to finish to where you can go from zero to owning Bitcoin in a few minutes. This isn't sponsored or anything, I'm just showing you my real world experience of using this platform and investing a portion of my portfolio in crypto. So let's get started. Now that's quite an intro, but let's be real about all this as well. It's easy in hindsight to talk about Bitcoin's numbers the same way it is now to talk about Google or Apple or Facebook. And realistically, because it grew 70,000% before, doesn't mean it will in the future. In fact, it almost certainly won't. What I'm really talking about is adding Bitcoin to my investment portfolio as a portion of my overall investing strategy and dollar cost averaging to hold over the long term. What I'm looking to do is invest a maximum of 5% of my portfolio into this riskier asset to make sure I'm not missing out on potential future growth, but I'm also not going to feel it too much if it doesn't go where I think it will. That's why I recently did some research on what platforms to use and I decided on Coinbase. I invested $130 a few weeks ago, so I'll take you through the process if you're looking to invest as a beginner, like what you'll need, what the platform is like, what it costs in fees, and at the end of the video, I'll show you my profits or losses and how much I've made so far with my cryptocurrency investment. And it's actually a lot more than I thought. Now, before we start, if you could please take a few seconds to just like the video, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, I've held cryptocurrency in the past and tried a few platforms, but none of them I liked. I used Easy Equities, Luno, Crypto.com, and recently Gemini. Crypto.com I really didn't like. Gemini was okay, but I didn't like how it didn't show you profit and loss, which is the main thing that you want. And I recently tried Coinbase, which I've liked, so I'm happy to share it. Now, I mainly look for two things in an investment platform. Safety is number one, and Coinbase is very vocal about regulation and safety on their platform, and they're probably the largest platform in the world to take such a big stance on safety and security of your funds. They've got a whole page here breaking down the measures they take that you can read through. And the other thing is simplicity. So I can invest easily and view my investments quickly with low fees and no ongoing fees. So we'll see if it meets that. Enough of the talking, let's get into it and I'll show you quickly how to sign up, how to use the platform, how much it costs you and what profits or losses I've made so far. I started at coinbase.com. Now I'm using the UK site, but Coinbase is available in most major countries, including the USA, the UK, SA and more. So I went to sign up and clicked. I then put in my email address here, but I'm sure it's quicker to just sign up with Google or Apple. Then you get a code emailed to you. And of course you just open the email and enter the code. Then you create a strong password based on their criteria. Here is your first name and last name. The example they used of Satoshi Nakamoto is the creator of Bitcoin. So a little insider reference there. Then you put in your phone number and once again, confirm it with the one time code. On this page, the main thing is to check and say that you are over 18 to invest. So tick the box if you are and submit. Then they ask if you want emails from Coinbase and I did not, so I clicked no. You then select your citizenship. And now a bunch of your personal details. I'm not sure if all these things are required in every country. I know the UK is quite good about education and data to ensure people are informed about investing in cryptocurrency, but this may be different around the world. 
So legal names, birthday, where you live, and then what you'll use Coinbase for. So I said long-term investment, how I'll fund my account, which I put as primarily from a salary, and your employment status, which I said full-time, and continue. Then a few more questions Coinbase is legally required to collect, like how much I expect to transfer to Coinbase in a year, and I expect less than £2,000. So my industry and my annual income, obviously you'll see a lot of these answers are blurred out, and I'm sure you can expect why. Now this is interesting, it makes you declare that you will not invest more than 10% of your total assets or that you are a high net worth individual. If you select neither, it won't allow you to trade. Again, this might be a UK thing and may be different elsewhere. So yes, I selected restricted investor and they give you a bit of info about what that means and you select and enter a few things to show that you understand at all. I said earlier I'm only looking to allocate 5% of my investments to this, and here you do the final click to agree. Cool, now we verify our identity. You can select an ID document, and for me I had a scan of my passport and my computer recently from booking a flight, so I just selected that and uploaded it. Then it asks for a selfie, and I wasn't expecting that, so I look a bit awkward and disheveled, but it is what it is. So I took the picture and uploaded it, and it confirmed all was verified and took us into the platform. It then asked for additional info, so I clicked and was asked again if I was aware of the risk of investing in crypto. I think these checks are good, but it is a bit tedious, and that tediousness continued as it then took me to a quiz. That's right, a knowledge-based quiz that you have to pass in order to start trading crypto. Now, I don't want to give you the answers because the point of it is for you to pass yourself, but I didn't find it too hard, and of course you can Google things if you need. So I passed the quiz, and you get put in a 24-hour cooling off period before you invest. So, great. 24 hours later. The next day, I added a payment method and linked my Visa card through Google Pay, which was super easy. Now, you can buy crypto directly from your card, but you can also deposit funds through your bank account, which was free. And you select your bank and scan a QR code and then approve it on your phone, which took about two minutes. I also tried a few transactions and withdrew my money to test it, which worked perfectly fine as well. I used my card to withdraw to as the method and it charged me £1.82 on £91, which I thought was a bit steep, but apparently it's free if you withdraw to a bank account, but it worked and it reflected instantly. Then once you've deposited funds, it's super easy to buy crypto, and there's a huge range that you can buy, but for me, I just went to Bitcoin and clicked buy. I put in £100 and selected buy, and that was it. Super easy, and that's what I like. It did, however, charge me 3.99%, which is huge for me as a stock investor, but it was the same with Gemini platform before this, so for some reason crypto just has a larger set of fees, so it's about normal for what I've seen. Now, if you want to sell, you just click sell on the top here, and I clicked sell Bitcoin and it showed me a £2.99 fee plus a spread. So it charged me again, and after two transactions, I was left with £91. That's just something to keep in mind for those who like to buy and sell back and forth a lot. Now you can also use the app, which is what I'll be using most of the time, and selling here is just as easy as you can see. Once you've done the sign up, I find the investing, buying and selling part really easy to do, and as you can see here, the withdrawal process on the app is pretty straightforward as well. Now, after all of these deposits, withdrawals, buys and sells to show you guys how it works and paying way more fees than I probably should, I eventually did my final investment of £100 in Bitcoin on the app. So overall, what are my thoughts on the Coinbase platform and what are my profits? The sign up is a bit drawn out and it does take a little while, especially with the quizzes and cool off period, which may only be the UK. But once you're in, I find it incredibly easy and simple to use and to view your investments and your profits, which I like. So I'm very happy using Coinbase for my long-term investments. Okay, so now we've got to this point, let me tell you about my results so far. So that investment of £100 or $130 was made on the 11th of April 2025, and after fees, I was left with a Bitcoin holding of around £96. It's now about three weeks later and I'm currently sitting in a profit 
of 108 pounds and 55 pence. So on my investment itself of 96 pounds, that's a profit of 13% in a few weeks. But on the money I actually put in, that's of course 8.55% profit. So considering the stock market averages 10% over 52 weeks, that's actually really, really good. But I absolutely know with this investment, if I invested a few weeks before or later, it could be that much of a loss or more. And it still may be. This could go up or down, but will continue to dollar cost average. And I guess we'll see over time. So if you want to see how this investment does, along with the rest of my five figure investment portfolio, then subscribe to the channel. I also have a community on Patreon where I share all of my investment buys and sells in real time on the day, including my stocks and shares and cryptocurrency, along with portfolio updates, passive income and a bunch more. It's 90% off to join, so just 50 US cents. So if you want to join over 150 people in the club, you can check out the link in the description. But guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more and I'll catch you next time, as always, on Casual Cash. Cheers.